Hello and welcome to Exceptional Family TV. In part one of the Kemp story, we talked with Adam and Katie about their daughter Hallie, who was born with septo-optic dysplasia. That's a condition that left Hallie legally blind and with hormone deficiencies. Now in part two, I talked with Adam and Katie about a unique journey they took to China to receive stem cell therapy for their daughter in hopes that it could regrow her optical nerve. Even though Zachary and Hallie have different diagnoses, Renee and, and Katie connected on the stem cell therapy that Katie was researching. I've learned a lot from Katie because from the very beginning of her research, she would contact me and say, there's kids with CP too, we should go at the same time, we should both go to China. What brought you to seek the stem cell therapy. Katie heard a story about a girl named Riley that went to China for these stem cell treatments and Riley has ONH, which is basically Hallie's condition. They were treating these kids with stem cells and Riley came back and she gained vision. The stem cells that we were looking into were from umbilical cord blood. So it's from a healthy mom and a healthy baby and they take the blood matter and remove it and they just have the stem cells and then just do a transfusion through IV. Did you have any expectations as parents of what would happen with this treatment? It's an experimental procedure. There's no guarantees that she's going to gain vision from it. You want to be realistic, but you also don't want to not hope for a miracle. We don't know if she'll gain central vision because she doesn't have nerve fibers there. Our hope was that she would have functional vision. If she can have the amount of vision that you can use to motor around and for mobility to go through doors and know where light sources are coming from, that's a huge thing for a blind person. If you could describe it, do you know what she can see? Well, before China, I don't think that she really could see colors. Maybe she could, but she wasn't interested in them. She never really squinted in the sun. Her eyes would be fully open and it wouldn't matter. So after the treatment, what did you notice? What effects took place? We really went into it looking for subtle changes, but we noticed that boundaries and walls, she wouldn't run into them as much. She would go and walk towards them and turn her head peripherally and then put her hand up. Where at home, she doesn't do that. She would just run smack into the walls. So many balls, so many balls are falling on the ground. She really started to have this interest in colors and lights. We would go to this, like a Walmart there, and they have this wall of aquariums, and she loved it. She would walk up and down, holding her head right up next to the aquarium, and then turning it and turning it and talking about the colors. You see it with your eyes. Wow. Eyes is blue. It is blue. I don't think she would have done that before we went. So that was like, thrilling to us for her to do that for the first time when we were there. Because she knew she was seeing something. Right. That was concrete evidence to us that she's seen something. Mm -hmm. But now, since coming back from China, we feel like she has enough vision to, I mean, she talks about colors all the time. You saw with the mirror, she reaches for the mirror. She clearly has seen that. She talks about toys and shiny things that she wants to play with. Um, she holds lighted toys up to her eyes, which she didn't care about before. Do you think after going through all of this that you would do it again? Yes. Yeah. When we were over there, we actually asked each other that question because that is a potential thing that we could do, is go a second time. No disappointment whatsoever. We don't regret it at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. We don't regret it. Another big improvement that we've seen is in Hallie's demeanor. Before, she used to have her eyes closed a lot, and she'd be hunched over and just be playing like this. And, and after trying it, it just seems like she's just more upright, and her eyes are open. She's walking more upright. You know, whether it's a developmental thing or whether it's a stem cells, you know. You'll never know. We're thankful for it either way.
Thank you for watching and be sure to comment below and tell us what you think of the episode. And stay tuned for another edition of Exceptional Family TV. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.